Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and we're going to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is do a quick tutorial slash first look at MinSwap V2. So we're going to check out what are some of these new features. We're going to look at the UI. So if you guys get something out of this, smash a like button, subscribe, check out the link tree. So head over to app dot minswap dot org so this is cardano's number one dex um, in terms of liquidity i believe so a dex is a decentralized exchange so you can imagine like coinbase crypto.com um, you set up an account and it works more like a bank with the decentralized exchange a dex um, the difference is is that you and i can supply liquidity and we can do things like yield farming we pair two different assets and we earn some rewards um, whenever tokens are swapped in the pool. So a sect centralized exchange, that's more like a bank. So it's a central authority. Um, whereas a decentralized exchange is like true crypto trading. So this is, in my opinion, the best DEX right now. So what is new? Let's click on this. So MinSwap V2, really cool to see here. Still got the logo. Uh, MinSwap V2 is ready. Um, MinSwap V2 brings 10x more throughput, um, advanced order types, uh, composability, and much more. Dive into it now. So trading um, looks like more. We've got stop, so stop losses. Um, so that's cool. So currently when you go to, so stop order, okay. So when you go to make trades, it's nice to set a stop loss. So if the price of a token Let's say you, you swap ADA for some SNEC. Um, if SNEC hits a certain price, it will make that trade for you um, automatically. So sometimes you get wrecked and this is a way you could potentially avoid that, I believe. Um, routing on market orders. Um, so fill or kill option, expiry option, safe mode, pro charts. Pro charts I like a lot. Uh, market movers, so I like this. Nice little design. Um, what else do we got here? We got the token price. It looks nice. Deep diver into token and pool information. Comprehensive charts and analysis. Staking. I like this. New total staking. Okay, so this is going to be good for Mint. So if you guys hold some Mint tokens. By the way, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk. I do own some Mint Swap. Um, I believe that as Cardano goes up in price, some of these low cap alts will go up um, as well. So yeah, looking good, looking good here. Um, so zap out, easily exit your liquidity positions, redeem um, that as well, add LP custom. So custom ratio, interesting. <clears throat> so again, when you're providing liquidity, you're doing yield farming, it looks like typically you need to have 50-50, but it looks like you can now customize that. Okay, that's sweet. Because really you want to have like a stable asset and one that's a little more volatile. And that's where yield farming can uh, can work. But it looks like you don't have to do that anymore. Um, with holding charts. So manage your portfolio in an easy way. Track, swap, and manage your tokens seamlessly within MinSwap. So that I'm going to want to check out. So the first thing we want to do is connect a wallet. I just sent a little bit of ADA to this one. So I hope it's here. Because I only had like six ADA. Okay, there we go. So we got a little bit from my tangent. Um, guys, use code Moose. This is where I'm getting a little more ADA. Um, so click on tangent, save up to 25% off all hardware wallets, save 10% off your tangent, use code Moose. So I appreciate that. Um, and I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna be throwing it into the channel. We can do swaps, do things like that. So we have some ADA. So what we're gonna do is connect our wallet. So I'm gonna imagine that we are disconnected Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to the top right, connect wallet. We're gonna choose NAMI. You guys can connect um, all these options. You guys have a lot of options. Um, looks like a ledger. Um, you could probably use your Trezor through NAMI anyways. So we're gonna hit NAMI and we're connected. You may have to sign a transaction, no big deal. So it looks like right in the middle here, we could either go to trade or just click up here. Let's say we wanna pick um, I guess min, so we could do 100 ADA, we would get 1800 min. 
Let's see what else we got here. NVL. So you have token details. It's got a yellow um, thing here. So, okay, so 66 NVL. That could be an option. Let's pick up some Kopi. I already have some in here. Um, I believe there's a lot of liquidity for Kopi anyways. So you can see the price compared ETA to Kopi. Obviously, ETA is worth more. So let's say we did 120. Okay, so 50. So you're losing a dollar on that plus fees. So we're just we're just gonna check here. It looks like we got best route V1. So it's gonna give us that. We could route to V2, but we're not gonna get as much. So very interesting. So 4407. So it's not much different. It recommends V1. So that's cool. Uh, what else do we have here? So let's just do, let's go through the settings and let's bring our slippage. Eh, we'll keep it where it's at. That's fine. So basically if the price falls within the range of 0.5%, our order is still going to go through. Set expi expiry, etc. So that looks good. It looks like we could also do limit orders and stuff. So we'll, we'll just do market right now. We'll just do market. We'll do roughly half. We'll do a hundred ADA. We'll get some copy. Looks like we're, we're we're doing good on fees. There is like a little deposit. There's like a two E to fee, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna sign this transaction. Put in the moose's password. Transaction submitted. All right, so we will view this wallet. So before the transaction, we had 1,038. Kopi. So 1,038 Kopi, we should see more. Your order is right up here. So right now it's pending. You guys can see some past orders. So if you guys focus up right here, we're seeing pending and we are using V1. So we're not using the V2 route. Um, I believe that's just to, to make it cheaper. Maybe we'll do, uh, we'll do a little swap with V2. We'll see if we notice it. Um, Cause if it's 10 times faster, Maybe worth it, but you're just gonna have to pay more until they probably have enough liquidity. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's hit refresh, maybe. Um, so this video will not be edited, so it is done. That was pretty quick. A lot of times you just have to hit refresh, anyways. So it looks like our aid is gone, and we now have 2,100 copies. So the moose is getting wealthier by the minute. Looking good. Um, let's do another trade. Let's do another swap. So market, make sure our slippage is in a tolerable percentage there. So let's just get some min. Let's do some min. Let's do 50 ADA. I don't have a lot here. Like 22 bucks. Heck, let's say you got like 10 bucks ish. So we're going to swap ADA for min. This is going V2 trade now. So 28 total. Let's put this in. There we go. So that's V2. I don't even know if I have any min in this wallet right now anyways. So we have zero. This will change. So I don't know how fast that will that will be. So pending. Let's hit refresh. So very simple to swap. All you're gonna do is connect your wallet. Make sure if you're using NAMI, set your collateral and it should work very well. So if we go back to our wallet, we should see the swap go through. So we're just gonna hit refresh again. And I like the way it looks. It does look good. It's not much different than last time. Um, Okay. For whatever reason, the copy transaction was pretty swift. So now it's done. Again, this is real time. Um, it's just not showing in our wallet yet. It will. So again, it depends on your NAMI. It doesn't always refresh, um, but the transaction could be done if you looked at pool.pm. So if you guys want to track some of my picks, go to pool.pm, put in dollar sign tie.ada or loose moose. So I have different NFTs. You got to be weary of the scams. 
Um, Kopi's the big one right now. So Kopi foul nodes, Moose has been getting loose on. So that's been cool. So we have that. We also have the urn. Let's check out the staking real quick. So let's see what's new here. So you got that really cool. Uh, you have no staking positions, of course. So it looks like we can get 4% with the six month stake. Maybe we could just do that for fun. Why not? So min, we only have, we only have like 500 min, but let's just do it. So we'll hit stake. Actually, let's do, let's see what we got here. There you go, a little cat noise. So let's go for the 6%. We get a 9x boost. That's 6.29%. So let's do that. Stake. And again, I'm doing this for tutorial basis. Um, you probably want to do more. Um, you know, if, if you're just doing a, you know, like 10 bucks, you're not going to get a lot on 9%, but it's worth doing for fun, right? Um, so we're going to have that go through. And I'm hoping we can kind of see our portfolio here and whatnot. So that's staking. And then you have your liquidity for yield farming. So that's that's a whole other story. Um, so staking, here's our total stake position. So daily rewards, 3,000 ADA there, circulating staked, 34%. So there we go, 420.83 min, not bad. So let's just give that a refresh as well. So right now it shows you have no staking, but it will be right here when it goes through. Total min staked, very nice. So if you guys do have min, you definitely want to stake it to the protocol. Then uh, then you're going to get a little bit of yield. So it's worth doing that. So overall, I like the UI. It looks good. Um, home page is nice. This is something I want to try. So guys, comment down below if you want to see a review of the MinSwap app. Probably going to be something that I'll check out for sure. Um, but I really like that you can actually swap from the home page. This is something that was lacking in the V1. So that's definitely really cool to see. So that's cool, we have that. So now we're gonna swap EDA, and we're gonna see what else there is here as well. NVL, you can get some snack. 109, two. So here you could do a bit of snack. Let's say you wanted to get some of that. Let's do 100 ADA. Get 42,000 snack just for a tutorial. So indivisibility, so hold. So let's do 50, let's do 50. Trade now. And again, we're paying a lot with fees, but it's just for the tutorial. There you go. And that one was V2. So staking liquidity. So that will be a different video. We're gonna do liquidity yield farming. That's gonna be a good one. So there we go. You can now see your positions. So with the 9X boost, you have 6.29 APR. That's for, you know, as little as 470 min, you can do that. It's gonna be unlocked in eight months. Um, I'm wondering if I can withdraw. So yeah, I believe if you withdraw early, you're not gonna get any of the rewards, but if you keep it for the nine months, you're gonna get that eight that eight to nine X boost, which is cool. So that's about it. If you guys wanna learn more, check out the channel. So go to Crypto Moose on YouTube, tons of videos and check out the link tree, save up to 25% off and we'll see you in the next one.